Being able to deliver acceleration smoothly and efficiently and also reliably and powerfully is super critical for your forehand ground stroke, your backhand ground stroke, and your serve. So this video has a sequence of drills. I'm gonna hit some serves and demonstrate it so that you can copy these same drills and apply them to any part of your game. So you can kind of sniff out different areas where you're getting tight and tense, sucking acceleration away from your, your swings, and also keep an eye on your relative acceleration so that you can actually pick and choose the correct amount of force for the situation. A lot of players have very low awareness of how fast or hard they're actually swinging. So here's the sequence. I've got four balls in my pocket. I'm gonna hit four serves that are a four out of 10 effort, meaning five out of 10 would be 50%. That would be half speed. This is gonna be a little below half speed, so pretty calm, relaxed. So this is gonna be my attempt or my effort at going a little bit below uh, half speed. So this is gonna be really casual, uh, relaxed. And I'm gonna hit four of these and try to uh, zone in on that tempo, that speed. Okay, now I'm gonna hit four serves at a six out of 10. So that should feel like a significant jump, but relative to four out of 10, we're adding two, so that's 50% increase, but we're still just a little bit above half of our effort. So uh, six out of 10 here. You hear a little bit different sound. Uh, I feel like that was a little low. That was about half. That was about 50% for me. There we go. That's more like six out of 10. All right, good. I'm happy with those last two. Now I'm gonna go up by two again and go eight out of 10. So I'm getting significantly closer now to full speed. So eight out of 10 swings here. That's about right for me. Uh, a little more than that. That felt a little bit uh, less effort. There we go, that felt about right. And now full speed. I'm gonna do 10, I'm sorry, four serves at a 10 out of 10. So this will be relative to my effort, my force, as fast as I can accelerate. No, I'm not happy with that one. I let off uh, the gas a little bit on that one. There we go. That's about full uh, speed for me. Okay. So there's uh, several different layers to why we're doing this. Layer number one is to be acceleration aware. Many players in matches accelerate much slower than they think. And the more you can become familiar with what's half effort for me, what's full effort for me, when you play match play and you feel yourself letting your foot off the gas, decreasing your acceleration, decreasing your effort and your energy, that opens the door for your opponent. So part of this drill, part of the value of this drill, and you can do this with ground strokes, you can do this with serves, you can do this with overhead, you can do this with every shot. Part of the value of this drill is just simply becoming more familiar with yourself and what is full effort for me. If you're enjoying this lesson, then go pick up a copy of my new book called Essential Tennis, because this video is taken right from it. There's 38 chapters full of insights that can help you improve your game, as well as many other videos just like this one that can show you exactly what to do to take your game to the next level. Now, if I was doing this for my own training, I would go back through again with an emphasis on tension. Most players, as they increase their acceleration, that last one I really felt like, I really like tightened up and tensed up, my last 10 out of 10 swing. For most players, as their effort goes up, their tension also ramps up. And what's funny about that is you'll actually get less of a result out of the shot. In other words, when I do this with students, 
frequently their best shots and their hardest shots are an eight out of 10 swing, or maybe even a six out of 10 swing. And when they go up to eight and when they go up to 10, as they increase their effort, their tightness goes up so much more that the ball speed actually drops. <laughs> even though they're putting in lots more effort, their efficiency uh, cr uh, craters, it plummets, because there's so much more tension in their body. So I would recommend going through this same, the same acceleration ladder three times. The first one, just get familiar with relative amounts of effort or energy. On the second one, pay close attention to how much tension or tightness is in your body. And your goal should be to find the number. Where does the tightness start coming in? Is it at six out of 10? Is it at, at eight out of 10? All, for almost every tennis player, 10 out of 10, they're gonna start feeling that tightness, that tension. But find out where it is for you so you can work on it. And then go through it a third time and pay attention to the speed of your shots and how it's connected to the tension in your body. As you go through this and become familiar with it, you'll be able to much more accurately and precisely be able to just call on a particular amount of swing speed and acceleration while staying loose and relaxed and transferring lots of energy very smoothly and effortlessly. I probably, you probably didn't see a huge you know, difference uh, for me. The, uh, my style of play is, like, I'm not a strong, like, dynamic you know, athlete. Uh, I rely more on like smoothness than I do in like raw power and acceleration. So it feels like a big change to me, but it doesn't, I know based on watching myself that it doesn't look like a big change on the outside. I would strongly recommend you record yourself and actually see visibly what the difference is. You might be surprised that at eight out of 10 or 10 out of 10, you all of a sudden get really tight and jerky and everything gets really short and compact. This is just a learning exercise. So go through it. I hope it's a huge help for you. I hope it reveals all kinds of things that you can focus on and work on to improve your game. If you enjoyed watching this lesson, then please consider going to order my book called Essential Tennis. You can get it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or anywhere else books are sold. And you can get it in paperback, hardcover, audiobook, or Kindle as well. And it's full of 38 chapters full of tennis insights for doubles players, singles players, that really get down to the core essentials of how to play better tennis. It's received some incredible feedback from world-class players and coaches, which I'm super grateful for. So if you enjoy my lessons, and this one in particular, which is taken right from the book, then definitely go check it out and order yours today. Thank you so much for your support.